Today I wanted to share the books we're going to be using for math for kindergarten this year. And this one here is from Rod and Staff. And these two are from, from Memoria Press. But I purchased them together, all three, from Memoria Press. It took me a while to decide on what curriculum to buy for kindergarten for math. I kept going back and forth between different math curriculums and I finally decided on these books here by Memoria Press and the reason for that was because I wanted something simple, basic, because it is kindergarten. I didn't really want something that had a bunch of addition and subtraction problems that were like really formal lessons. I just wanted to keep it simple and basic. And I'm actually very happy with my decision that I made. We have Counting with Numbers. And this is by Rod and Staff, but Memoria Press sells this also. So here at the bottom, it gives you basic instructions, um, some of the things the kids are going to be doing in the book. For example, at the top of every page, there's a little rhyme. And that has to do with the number they're learning. For example, this is number one. A straight line down and then you're done. This is how to make a one. And that is, um, there's a rhyme for every number. They're going to be learning to count. Um, children need to place one number to one object. And they'll be doing things like Writing the numbers correctly, starting at the dots, the dotted numbers should be traced, and the lines completed from left to right. Um, coloring, so there's coloring also. Written, so there will be a lot of um, practice writing the numbers correctly, and that is one reason why I purchased these books. I feel like my oldest son, with his math curriculum in kindergarten, there was not enough practice writing the numbers. And I feel like he still struggles a little bit even now with certain ones. For example, number five. Sometimes his fives look like S's, sometimes even J's. So um, I am happy that there is a lot of practice writing them correctly. Um, oral, so the child um, counts items like crayons, blocks, buttons, anything um, that he can count to have practice counting. So there's drawing, cutting, and pasting. And this is something that my, my kids like to do. They love cutting and pasting things. And um, Rod and Staff has um, Bible stories that you can use with their whole series. There's the whole series of, um, there's a Bible one, Bible pictures to color, and fine motor skills, so different things like that. So draw a circle around each picture that shows one. One egg a day, each hen did lay. So then they write a number one, starting from the top to the bottom, and they're practicing writing number one. Number two, and there's the rhyme. Here they draw a circle around two pictures in each box. Count the pictures, write the numbers on them. Draw a circle around three pictures in each box. Count the pictures and write the numbers. Here they will be cutting and matching and pasting. So they cut these, they match, and then glue them on. Here's some more matching. Circle the correct number in each box. Okay. 
counting shapes and writing numbers. And here they circle the correct number for the items in each box. So that is how this book is laid out. Here they cut these numbers out and they paste them where they belong, so the correct number of animals. Here they draw the correct number of beads on each string. More cutting and pasting. Story about Jesus. Okay, so um, they also learn things like after, underline the animal that comes after the duck. There's connect the dots. And here is before, underline the animal that comes before the turtle. Between, more, less, longer and shorter. So, Oh, there was empty and full and yeah so but that's um, this book here next we have the number books by memoria press there's two of them together um, book one has numbers 0 through 15 and book two numbers 16 through 20 but then also in the back after that there are um, lessons that go all the way through number a hundred. So, book one starts out like this. Trace the number with your finger. Trace and write the number or number word. Write your best zero in the box. And here's the number one, and they trace the number with their finger, and then they practice writing the number, and then also the word. Here is color the picture that appears in the quantity of one. So, like, one sun, or one squirrel, one fish, and they color everything that is quantity of one. Say, trace, and write. Color one object in each row. Trace each shape two times. Here they circle the object that belongs in the box to complete the pattern. Count the objects in each group and then write the correct number. Here is the color by number. Circle the largest, smallest. Number the objects from smallest to largest. Connect the dots. So in the very back, in the appendix, there is more practice um, just writing numbers.
And book two is the same thing, starting with number 16 through 20. But then, as you see here, count from 20 to 30. Um, after number 20, there are, um, they do activities that go higher than that. Like here, um, it's focusing on the number, all the way through the number 30. Excuse me. <laughs> but they go all the way to the number 100. Um, this is a bonus, counting by 100s, so they go th all the way to 500, practice writing their numbers, leapfrog numbers, place your finger on the star, then follow the instructions. What number does your finger land on? So there you go. I hope this helps um, anyone who is trying to make a decision on um, curriculum for kindergarten. Thank you for watching.